All right, so we're going to start with uh, DJ Wanham, the start of this. Uh, I know I'm a little late with this, but uh, I typically like to um, kind of wait till the draft is over, then these come out in a flurry. So I guess it's, it's what I do. But getting into DJ Wanham now, uh, he's a defensive end of South Carolina. Uh, he's 6'5", 258, 34 and 1 8-inch arms. Uh, ten and a half inch hands, uh, four seven three forty bench press at twenty, thirty four and a half inch vert, uh, one hundred twenty three inch broad jump and a seven twenty five three cone with a four 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 twenty yard shuttle. So his run defense, I, I think he really competes for his gap, but there seems to be a lot of instances instances where he can kind of get rooted out of the run fits and the lanes kind of widen in the run game when he kind of should be squeezing down on them. And I don't think he consistently plays with an extension and a lot of his greater moments come when he's actually shooting gaps, which is a very aggressive way. What, you know, it's like you kind of live and die by it. If it works, it's wonderful. It's a loss. If it doesn't work, a lot of times you're burned. Uh... His pass rushing, um, I like the way he fights at the top of the arc to kind of soften angles, and it kind of, you know, mitigates his surface area, and then he's able to kind of work and flatten to the quarterback, but a lot of his rushes tend to be kind of fruitless, and he just shoots way too far up the field, and I think he just needs more variety and kind of come up with more of a rush plan in general when it comes to you know, pass rushing. Um, his acceleration and burst off of that line is kind of just modest, and I don't think he's very, you know, it's not the best snap anticipator to, you know, help come overcome that lack of acceleration and burst coming out of the stance. So he does kind of stand up and in his reps, and it kind of leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to that. Um, cause you know, it's kind of like, so when you stand up straight, you're kind of, you're giving yourself more surface area and then that way you don't, not as, does it come off as fast because if you're lower in the shoot, you go a lot faster. He kind of stands straight up and then goes, which can, you know, really lower his quickness. And I do like some of the footwork that he's able to illustrate and kind of pull tackles out of their sets, however. So it's not all bad. Um, his effort there, there's no questions on the effort. Uh, he competes very hard. It's every snap he battles and I don't, he doesn't often get those clean wins around the edge, but he will, he'll be persistent and it'll kind of just, you know, that's how he will win <laughs> is he will keep working and just persist until, you know, he kind of runs the tackle out there. Um, his hands, his hand play, I think it. It lacks. Um, I think he needs to be more sudden and just more intentional about deploying the rush moves. Once again, it kind of goes into just his normal pass rushing thing I talked about. Having a better plan. And if he has that, you can deploy more rush moves to get more in the repertoire. And he's kind of late on softening angles with those pass rush moves as well. And like I said before, too far up the field when attacking just edges of the blocker. Um... When it like his flexibility, I think he can flatten and corner, but he isn't like overly bendy, so you aren't going to see that dip. But he's able to battle through some tightness when changing directions and working laterally. Uh, he processes things like so with his keys and diagnosis. Will he ugh, keys and diagnosis well, and but plan to attack needs just evolve, and sometimes you know crank up there and a little tick faster and as a pass rusher he does kind of little to win the overall chess match and set up those future moves like i said doesn't have a rush plan and generally aware and isn't fooled by those window dressing or misdirection things so that's nice when it just comes to mental processing how aware in football like you it kind of shows up a little bit there where it's like you aren't going to fool him and that's kind of nice uh I do think he needs to get some more play strength. He has a lot of room to grow and just improve on the functional strength aspect of it. So he can just kind of be more stout setting the edge and maintaining his run fits. 
Um, I do also think uh, he leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to his uh, speed to power. I don't think that's really great right now. And yeah. Um, and then lastly, we're going to go over his versatility. Um, they lined him up in a variety of of uh, spots and plays on the interior defensive line and off the ball is both just a stand-up edge guy and a hand in the dirt guy and I do think he has limitations a little bit as both a run defender and a pass rusher just because you don't have overly great burst and like I said that play strength kind of it needs to be built up a little bit more but um, you have a very long athletic toy for uh, Zimmer and Patterson to mold and it'll be s interesting to see how he kind of develops or if he can contribute his first year on the roster. Um, I'm not entirely sure he can, but I doubt they cut him. He was a fourth round draft pick after all. And uh, I could see them maybe trying to line him up inside, maybe get some favorable bash up match ups against guards. But outside of that, I don't know if he sees the field much. Um, I would like to know your comments down below. What you think of Wanham. Uh, I think that's how you say it. We're gonna, I'm going to learn how to say that. <laughs> but um, like know your comments down below. Like subscribing always helps. And until next time, I bet you all do.